Hi traders, first day of 2021 is over. Let's uh, have a quick review of my trades today, my live trades today. First one is Boeing. Now Boeing starting with a gap down today when the market starting with a gap up today and the daily of Boeing which we will take a look at later does look to me like it's going to come down. So I'm about to short under 209.80 as I posted in the trading room just happened shorted 4,000 shares. Now take a quick look at uh, what happened here. That's a fast forward of what happened to Boeing. Notice the lows 207.60 and uh, the way it comes down under you'll find a lot of sellers coming in right after it moved to a new low and it's just about to move to a new low and just did and uh, I'm about to take my partial I'm up six grand as you can see here now click the button took my partial left just 400 shares now often lots of people ask me why do I leave the last 400 shares well you know what I like to go for the longer term uh, the bigger move but my trading is where um, my my belief is that I should go for one to one risk reward ratio so I was risking one and something dollars one and a half dollar or so my target was the same approximately one and a half dollar which Boeing gave me rather quickly now when you can put the risk behind you you know just get the partial where you were supposed to get your partial and put the risk behind you that gives me I mean not necessarily you because we know you know mentally we're different everybody's different that gives me the mental ability to carry on with another 400 shares and look for the bigger game that makes my one-to-one -one risk reward average a little bit better so I would say I would probably have one to one five risk reward probably better than one to one but anyway I do uh, trade according to one to one risk reward method and well maybe you should too that's your decision anyway traders if you like this video please give us a thumb up it will help our channel and uh, maybe you know when YouTube sees more thumbs up it helps our channel and helps more people like you uh, watch more trading videos and help them trade so now let's take a look at the rest of my trades today my second trade today was mRNA I have decided mRNA is going to move higher today now let's take a look at what happened there well the first initial move is down let's talk about it real soon but I'm about to go long right now I'm believing that uh, this would be the reversal point just went long 4,000 shares and you know I'm looking at mRNA and what I'm seeing here is a stock that started strong now I know you're seeing a downside momentum and a very strong one but you know when a stock is coming down in order to close a gap it's very very likely to reverse at the point of closing the gap which is right over there well it did continue a little bit more but then the reversal could be the change of direction of the day and in fact stock like that could move over the highs stocks are coming down to close gaps because of institutional traders pressure they're getting extra commission when the stock is gapping up and they can sell in the price which is higher than yesterday's close well that's something we learn in our courses we're not going to do it right now but uh, and it's not very complicated but the whole idea is a stock like that should in fact continue moving higher especially because I saw that on the daily but it's coming down a little bit too much for me right now and I'm moving out at a loss I just lost over four thousand or so dollars in mRNA and that was a foolish mistake as you will see later I just didn't give it enough space we we'll look at that one later and you'll see that uh, in fact it has done nothing wrong just continue the uptrend it was a foolish mistake and I believe that happened because I have a good trade I had a good trade with Boeing you know my trade in Boeing my previous trade was a bit better than this loss meaning I was still green after this trade and I felt like I don't want to get into red well you know this again this mental situation that you, you take a look at the previous trade and you say well you know I had a big loser or I had a big winner I don't want to ruin that or I don't want to have another you know the next trade has nothing to do with your previous trade that's the mistake I did right now with mRNA and we'll take a look at the results later to understand that a little bit better my third trade BLNK now in BLNK I'm looking at the very nice downside momentum but I'm also looking at the daily look at the way it just came down under this support level we're going to take a look at that later but look at the intraday momentum well probably the first entry should have been over there but I missed it I did not follow it it was not a, a stock I was pre-market preparing to take so I'm about to show this one as it comes down because it looks to me like it already has a very nice intraday momentum and I'm thinking this could continue so I'm about to short 4,000 right here 
And uh, again, expecting a new low, and I'm going to fast forward the trend dive so we don't spend too much time on that. But look at the downside momentum. It's beautiful downside momentum. The downside momentum could have been expected because of this first move down here. That's what I liked about it, but also the daily. It looked to me overextended on daily. It looked to me like it's as, as if it should come down. It looked to me like it's going to continue having a downside momentum. It's a big mover, of course. Now it's consolidated a bit here, as you can see, just now moved to a new low. And um, again, nice mover. And I'm getting ready for a partial here. I'm already up, as you can see here, close to $4,000. And uh, now finding some kind of support here. And at that point, I was trying to take a look at the buyers and the sellers and see if it's going to bounce. But then it came down for another low. And uh, right now, took my partial. It was a great trade. So again, it all starts with the daily. We'll take a look uh, at that later. But the intraday momentum is something that you need to remember here. Look at the first move down and then the continuation. Again, the entry probably should have been over there. But, you know, that was not a stock that I got prepared pre-market time. You can see that I did take a look at the daily. I did not know how the daily looks like. Once I did, I was very quickly to join this trade. Now, here comes my last trade today, BTBT, and I just moved in to a short position, quite a large one, 8,000 shares under this line, 3080. Why? Because I think BTBT is about to come down. So I'm taking a big risk here because I believe that there's a very good chance that BTBT will come down. I was following this one for the past... I don't know, 30 minutes or so, and I'm um, short 8,000. As you can see, it's not going that great right now. It's kind of playing around, but I did think it's going to come down because the stock is up 35%. And you know, when the stock is up 35%, now I'm fast forwarding so you can see what happened, it's likely to come down because there's usually some profit taking. And again, we're going to take a look at the daily later. Now, you do have to find out the, the, the right point to short it. And it's kind of tricky. And I think I just found it because, as you can see, it's started to trend lower right now. And I'm continuing to wait because I had a approximately one and a half dollar stop loss and uh, I was also looking for one and a half dollar uh, profit target and maybe a bit more 180 I'm not sure right now but anyway as you can see now it uh, it is coming starting to come down finally here comes the breakdown that was uh, what I was looking for my target was 29.50 it just touched it and under I'm up eight thousand dollars and I'm about to take my partial and I just took my partial well BTBT is under pressure and uh, we're soon going to take a look at the daily so you understand what happened there. And uh, again, the fact is, when a stock is up that much, you don't usually look for a long. Although there were some very nice opportunities here to go long today. But the more safe uh, idea is to look for a short at the point where you think there will be a failure. Now, let's take a look at the dailies. And here's a daily of the stocks that I was trading today. Let's start with BLNK. It's, if you see uh, BLNK's highs here, you can see that it's extremely extended. Now, take a look at the way it came down from the highs. Well, you could think that it may be just, uh, you know, resting a bit and continues to move higher. This could be the case, but look at this downside momentum here once it came down under this support level, which is quite a nice uh, breakdown formation under this uh, previous support. Now, you would see the same in Boeing. Look at Boeing. Boeing came down from the highs quite nicely and then broke down again under the support that's what happened today and that was pre-market time which, which i watched boeing and was ready to short it today posted it as one of my short picks today and boeing did come down very nicely now here's btbt take a look at btbt this stock was just a few weeks ago at four dollars now moved to 33 dollars but you know this usually can't continue much and uh, i was expecting btbt to have some issue with uh, profit taking and it really did and i'm in fact still riding it and hoping it's going to come down and um, mrna take a look at mrna mrna had a support level here so i was expecting that mrna would start consolidating here and again you know they should have some good reports recently they did develop the vaccine and everything so I was expecting it's kind of a combination of a fundamental in, and, and daily and intraday so mRNA from this point I thought it shouldn't move higher and in fact it moved higher 
uh, <laughs> unbelievably higher. And uh, the, the end result, as you can see here, is uh, $14,000. I did have one loser with mRNA again because I just given, didn't give it enough space. So thank you guys for watching this. And if you do want to see more of uh, this day trading content, please subscribe to our channel and turn the notification bell on, which is right over here. Uh, so you could see more future uploads when they come out. So and also, if you want to trade with us, just, you know, you'll find a lot of links right here below. Some of them are just free content. Uh, we'll be very, very happy if you join us. And, uh, you know, just uh, stay green, stay safe and give us a thumb up for this video if you liked it. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. See you next video.